Holy Bunkos, kids, look out. <laughs> the Keep It Moving Tour is adding new dates. Ooh-wee! We're coming to a city near you. Come and see us. Some stand-up. And we play AYG at the end of the show with the crowd. We answer your garbage questions. We've got some trash so far, but I know, I know there's deeper garbage out there around the country. Oh, yeah. So come on out and see us. Kippy, tell them what they need to know. Oh, baby, we're all over the place. Uh, Providence, Rhode Island, August 11th. Boston, Massachusetts, August 12th. New Brunswick, New Jersey, August 25th. Down the Tomatoes. There. Timonia, Maryland, Magoobies, August 26th. Couple of crabs. Then we're going to Tejas, baby. Uh-oh. August, uh, September 21st will be in San Antonio, Texas. Yes. September 22nd will be in Houston, Texas. September 23rd through the 25th, Austin, Texas, for the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Look out. And I ain't done yet. August 26th will be at Fort Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. What? Then we're bringing it back to Long Island, baby. What? In all, uh, September 30th. And then we're coming home. The boys are cut. Co- the chickens are coming home to roost, baby. <laughs> <laughs> October 27th, we're going to be in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and then back down to Tejas, uh, November 5th through the 7th for Skank Fest South. Get those tickets. The yeah. link will be in the description. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow up to be classy or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tody's Basement. She's upstairs. Yeah. Fresh bottle of Perks. Oh, yeah. Got her set till Labor Day. Wow, look at that. Summer of Tootie. There you go. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? Ladies and gentlemen, he's a goddamn international <laughs> businessman. So show him some respect. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Happy to be here, as always. Please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Patreon.com. You sign up, you get a bunch of bonus content. And live shows. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know when this Yikes. comes out. We There's going to be a bunch of fucking dates coming out. We're going to be all over the fucking place, so get some tickies to a show. You notice I had a little respect on the, on the intro for you. You didn't call me a bozo? It's the end of the month. Yeah, I know. Paycheck time. Yeah, I know. Mr. Ryan. I'm aware. You get real fucking nice around the 22nd of every month. <laughs> when sure. that Patreon's getting ready to process, you're like, oh, Mr. Ryan, do you need a coffee? Is your hair growing in? What's going on? <laughs> Propecia's working. Gang, okay, how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire. He's the magic man. Former Chicago comic, recent New York transplant, hitting the scene hard. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What up, dudes? Hey, Hey, buddy. buddy. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Are the numbers going down? Uh, Because I think that they're... True to roof. Ooh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You called me slipping. Relieve. You called me slipping. I got one bit on the show. I know. Toby has one. Toby has one scripted line, and I stole it from him. The fuck, dude. Hey, Toby, we're cutting your intro next week. <laughs> Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. This man is a very funny stand-up comedian, podcaster, writer, and actor. You've seen him on Conan. You've mm-hmm. seen him on this week at the Comedy. Oh boy. The stand-up show with John Doerr, and of course, he is the host of the amazing podcast, Stand By Your Band. But the big question in buddy's mind today, is he garbage? I'm going to tell you something, folks. <laughs> this guy came in correct. This is a fucking precedent set here. <laughs> Walked in with a truly pineapple mango pounder. The big Let's boy. Go, baby. That's bigger than a pounder. I think that's a 20. That's a 20. That's a this deuce a, deuce. Yeah, it is. That's a 24 yeah, ounce that's truly a at 2 p.m. <laughs> I might have. It's 2.30. I want to break. I want to break the fucking fourth wall here. It's the afternoon on a Wednesday yeah. or it's Thursday. Two, whatever. It's 2.40. 45 somewhere. Um, <laughs> this guy's got a three liter of white claw in his bag. Gang, give it up for Tom Takar, hey, everybody. Hey, Tommy. Thanks for having me, boys. I was loving man. your pod. Thanks I, for doing it. I was stunned when you walked in with that. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, stunned. Yeah. I thought this was a podcast about being garbage. I didn't know you guys were going to be so fucking it's friendly. It's still the proper. afternoon on a work week, for God's sakes. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been wanting to drink more during the podcast, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, was, I thought that uh, everybody would be partying in here. I thought certainly Toby <laughs> would be. What's his fucking job over there? Come on. <laughs> Pop one, baby. <laughs> Get crazy. Toby's got a bit of a problem. You hear that hippie? You hear that hippie? You look like a dirt ball. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Well, you know, some things change. Chemical addictions happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Toby's mean, straight edge now. Anybody who it's comes a Christian here from band. Chicago is like they boo. They get yeah, after they it. Oh, My yeah. buddy came here and they were like, I don't know whatever he's talking about. People in New York drink, and then they realized everybody they were with was, was from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember. Well, in other cities other than New York, when you like you drink, that's part of comedy a yes. lot. Is like you go do one set and then you get drunk. It's uh-huh. like a big social thing. Sure. And I remember I moved up here and I was like the I was a big drinker and I was at the bar and I ordered a pitcher for myself because I'm like <laughs> it was cheaper yeah. than going up and getting yeah. beers. And I turn around and Monroe Martin. And Derek Keynes were like, who's that for? I'm like, me. They're like, you can't be doing yeah. this up here. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm sorry. I thought we were partying. That's what people in Chicago, there was a bar. I don't know if it was around when you were doing it, but there used to be an open mic where it was $2 pitchers. <laughs> and so you would go and you'd go late and it sucked shit, but you were like, I am fucked up. Yeah, it's a good night. Pitchers, yeah. <laughs> I'm a successful comedian. <laughs> I love that. That was my favorite part. Yeah, I'll, I'll struggle through five minutes and then 15 beers. Let's go. The more you drink, the better your career feels. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pitchers yep. are garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Off the jump. And I agree. I'm, I'm a big uh, fan. No, it's I agree. Trash. Because they, it, it's going to go flat faster. It's going to go I flat. Like, I like a draft or, or a bottle. I, I love a, a bottle I, of High Life is maybe it's pretty good. Ice cold? Not yes. Not wrong with a High Life. Yes. Not yeah. wrong with a High Life. If Nothing you get in a pitcher, most chances are the bar is not cleaning the lines. Nope. It's a plastic fucking yes. pitcher. It's always plastic. If you're going Trap. nowhere, yep. no one's serving a glass pitcher. By the way, <laughs> because if you're drinking pitchers, they're going to get thrown at some point. Yeah. You go to a really good Chuck E. Cheese, they'll throw <laughs> they'll throw a pitcher of birch beer at you in a glass pitcher. I'm Dude. a big pitcher guy. But you the- got, if you got like four people at a table, just like two pitchers at a time, and they're going yeah. quick. If you're like watching a game or something, nah, can't that's fair. It. I still would rather just a bucket of beers if I'm going to do something Ooh, like that. That's that. the mark of a gentleman right yeah. there. Yeah. A bucket of beers. A bucket of beers is where I like to live. You yeah. know? <laughs> Baker's dozen of Rolling Rocks ponies. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking ice down. Yeah, the beer tower is the trashiest move. Of oh all. yeah, that, that's another thing. This is so I grew up in a college town. Uh, I like I, that uh, when I grew up, I was like, oh my god, it's it's, it's you're losing money not to drink. <laughs> Wait, what's yeah, be a beer tower? A beer tower. There was like big oh, things, like a hundred ounces. Yeah, yeah hundred ounces. They had a hundred ounce craft beer. Ten dollars at this Mexican place in my hometown. I'm, I'm moving to Indy. You gotta move to you gotta move to Bloomington, Indiana, brother. And it's my buddy thought yeah, that but in Bloomington Miller Lights craft beer. Come on, <laughs> come on now. Don't come at my home. <laughs> yeah. Coors Light, we don't take that commie shit over here. We're <laughs> paying that right now. We were at a bowling alley with a tower of beers. My buddy was blacked out with his calculator out, being like, they got to be ripping us off. There's yeah. no way. <laughs> this deal is good. That's, I've done that a lot. Yeah. Break out the calculator to yeah. make sure the ounces line up. Oh, yeah. Half of this is just Sprite. What's yeah. going on? You're doing. You're taking inventory like you had one, he had two. That one's halfway done. They're short at us nine ounces here. Again, place like that. One thing's for certain, those things have never and will never be washed. No, because no. you would have to in do them any in any regard. Yeah, there's not a sink big enough to get that <laughs> thing under there. No. No. They, they just like, you know, yeah, no way. <laughs> Holy shit. So give us the complete backstory, because I said I was a little in the dark about this. Now, you mentioned Indiana. Yes. Take it from there. Give, give yeah. us the deets. So I'm from I'm from Bloomington, Indiana. John but Cooper Melantan That's country. right. Yeah. He piece of shit, by the way. Uh, really? Bad What'd reputation. Bad reputation in Bloomington. Yeah, He's banging the type a of bunch dude. of fucking hot chicks, I <laughs> imagine. <laughs> <laughs> the, I mean, he did bring Meg Ryan, which is weird. <laughs> wow. But I uh, love Meg Ryan. I Wait, love Meg Ryan, too. He was dating Meg Ryan? He's still with Meg Ryan, I believe. Johnny Cougar? I'm pretty sure, yeah. My man. They Shout live in Bloomington, Indiana. But he is a bad, he's the type to like not tip well at Chili's and shit. Really? Yeah, yeah. And Fuck like, him. There's a story. Uh, my sister told me this where th- we have a, st- a shoe place in Indiana called Shoe Carnival. Clearly not a high class place. It's but it's where we would go to get our shoes. So there was, was, there's shoe carnies in town. <laughs> Holy and shit! Wait, hold on. Is it a year round down, store? Yes, yes. It's not like it's a not carnival. Traveling? <laughs> yeah. Do you walk into like a clown's mouth or something? What's the carnival? <laughs> it's they only sell clown shoes. <laughs> uh, what size are you, little fella? <laughs> 
So there's this place called Shoe Carnival. You get to spin a wheel that gives you a discount or something. It's it's pretty fun, honestly. <laughs> but I holy <laughs> shit, would go That's there. trashy if you're buying a car, let I alone know, a pair of shoes. I know. Yeah, you're spinning the wheel of shoes. <laughs> yeah, it's the wheel of shame. <laughs> they didn't have like Nikes. They just had like Shaq shoes and shit. Uh, like Shaq, Shaq shoes. <laughs> Shaq shoes are a tough look. <laughs> they had the and ones that were like nobody wanted. But yeah, I loved it. There were but. two left shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so he rolls into. Shoe Carnival, which you're like, you're a fucking celebrity. Coogs did? Coog. Coogs. Ball, ballpark. Coogs what are shoe we talking carnival. about? We're not talking about 90s, 80s, are we? This is uh, probably early 2000s, I want to say. Maybe okay. late 90s. I, I, it's, my, I drink a lot. My timeline. No, you know what? I never picked up on that. <laughs> so, so he rolls in there. He sees a pair of shoes he wants. They don't have it in his size. He pulls, do you know who I am? <laughs> At Jesus. Shoe Carnival. As if they're going to be like, oh, my bad. Let's take you to the celebrity room of shoe carnival. <laughs> yeah. like Why don't you say something? Yeah. We have the good Shaq shoes in the back. <laughs> well, that yeah. attitude is probably why Meg Ryan left his ass in November Let's, 2019. Oh! Let's go. Hell take yeah. That, Meg is Coops. on the market. Back out on the market. Hell Love yeah. Meg Ryan. Yep. Wow. City yep. of Angels. Great movie. Check it out. <laughs> I the remember. quote is, it got exhausting for her to deal with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you're Meg Ryan and you're dating you're with Mel- Mellencamp, he takes you to Applebee's. You're like, yeah. I did not think this is what it was going to be. Also, you know? she shouldn't be dating anybody that's shopping at fucking shoe carnival. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? He's a steak well done guy, too. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Steak and ketchup. Give me some ketchup. Yeah, yep. 100%. <laughs> Give me the ketchup that's already loose. <laughs> I don't want to have to. I don't want to be over here work. shaking. <laughs> I'm going to do you know who I am? You bring me the. I gotta put a knife in here, <laughs> oh, darling. Shit. Give me an unopened bottle. All right, make sure. <laughs> Damn uh, it! That made me think of something. I lost it. Fuck. It's uh, okay. Mm, It'll probably the alcohol poisoning, but don't <laughs> worry. Right. This kid's got wet brain over here. <laughs> I've been living loose, brother. <laughs> My lady was out of town for two weeks. That'll get you. It, it's, it's I've had that sense, happen, you and know? you're just like... Saying my lady's trash, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this guy's hitting all cylinders. <laughs> yeah. This what, kid's a cowboy. That's, that's, what motorcycle gang are you that's, in? That's fancy in Indiana. That's good. My lady. lady. Yeah. Not old my, ladies my the trash kids. My old ladies all over me. <laughs> yeah. Holy that, I don't shit. like pop for dad bothers me. Oh, my I pop. Hate that. I'm like, who? What that. are you doing? That's why I didn't have a dad, because then you, <laughs> you don't have to worry about sounding trashy. This guy's playing chess over here. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is figuring out what to call their dad. He just eliminates the problem. All right, give us a scoop. Uh, so born in Bloomington, born, Indiana. Born no in, dad, I picked yeah, up on that. No dad, <laughs> slipped it in. Read that between the lines. I had a stepdad, but not a you know he wasn't like a good uh, person. So yeah. He was like <laughs> he was the get drunk and stand in the yard with a gun for a while type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? I just want to stand out here with the gun. Wait, what, what was? Oh my god! I do this. Uh, I do Folks, a bit. Put about your this. chin straps on. <laughs> put your seatbelts. I don't know where to start because it's like. <laughs> well, we're oh, yeah. in it now. <laughs> we're in it. Yeah, I just it's there's no beginning. So I was born on a Tuesday. <laughs> Shoe carnival was a good place to start. Yes. That was a good intro. Yes. Uh, all right, mm-hmm. so you're. Stepdad, what ages were you when he would do? So this? I was like, so I he came around when I was like two. He was new. He was because my parents were never married. My my father was an Indian man who uh, went to prison shortly after I was born. Okay, pin, and, uh, wait, pin in the stepdad. Why yeah, did he go to prison? I don't want to get too into okay, it. Okay, fair it's, enough. It's a fair lot enough. of shit that uh, sure. my mom prefers me not to talk about. I think sweet but totally you can't <laughs> talk about. Yep, I love it. yep. But this kid's uh, trash. not a great person, but, uh, you know, he, he didn't want to be a dad. I was half white. He was like embarrassed by that. And then my white family was like, that, he's half in, about me. They're like, he's half Indian. He's a, a bitch. I don't know, like, <laughs> this so, two year old's a pussy. Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> so my stepdad comes in uh, pretty much immediately. He's like. He's around. He's a booze bag. No brothers uh, and sisters. I have five brothers and sisters, but they're all weird. They're all over the place. My mom had kids when she was 13. So, Holy shit. So uh, that's my older sibling. Can we release this? Is this- <laughs> <laughs> Legally, can we get in any trouble with this? <laughs> Please, right. tell me, please tell me their dad was a 13-year-old. Uh, you're he was not going to want to know the answer to that. <laughs> don't ask questions you don't ready, you're not ready to hear the answer for. This, might, <laughs> this <laughs> might have to be a Patreon episode. No, no, no. no it's Hold fine. on. Let's we just slow it, it down a little bit. So, <laughs> Dude, what the I say fuck? we speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, this kid came in throwing fucking 101 out of the gate. You were like, you were like I want to hear a whole backstory. I was like, I don't think you do. <laughs> 
We we also twenty minutes I, from now, <laughs> puking in the corner. I've also legit <laughs> forgot about the stepdad getting drunk and standing in the front yard with the <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, just 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 so I have my time on. So you're two years old now. Are there other kids already in the house? So there are, but they're already kind of like. I mean, my brother was somebody who ran away from ha- the house when he was like thirteen too. He like every went to character California. they get introduced, we go off on another yeah. tangent. What the fuck? Yeah. I my, feel like we're all gonna get tattoos by the end of this. <laughs> Yeah, they're uh, they're all over the place. But my my sister was still in the house. I shouldn't have uh, belched into the mic. But <laughs> I think it's already answered. If I'm trash or whatever. Yeah, um, the, the, the rest is yeah. So, I mean, formalities. Uh, I don't know you that well. I just thought you were like a nice, clean guy. Uh, so did I. I'm a good guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. I just yeah, I didn't expect this. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you carry awful. yourself at least from you know as a, a bit of a distance as yeah, a nice, yeah. refined well, you know, holy you know, shit. subdued man. This is bonkers. Are you guys in a house or in a? We're in a what? house. We're in a house. You're in a house. Uh, oh. We're in an apartment actually when I was really little, and then when I was about four, we moved to the woods. And, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, right. moved Let me to, catch my breath, we will you? We moved to like a little, like, kind of farmer area where we were like, yeah, in the country or whatever, out of the suburbs of Indiana, like a place you go now, and it's like Trump 2020 flags everywhere, okay. you know. Uh, cause it's a, like I said, it's a college town, but we were not in that part. Um, so we're the we college. Mo- yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No the- correspondence courses <laughs> going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a weird area, but so I had o- older siblings still kind of around, but then I became the oldest one in the house pretty quick. And then I had, uh, three younger siblings with the stepdad that two with the stepdad, one adopted. Yeah. Okay. So you so yeah. your mom and stepdad adopted a kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Was it was it for tax purposes? <laughs> no, no. But uh, there are other people in my family who I could say. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Chicken sandwich. <laughs> um, hey, sons of bitches over there. <laughs> fucking shit and fear. Those fucking right. guys on Mockingbird Lane. <laughs> <laughs> um, Those south side to cars are real scumbags. <laughs> she didn't Jesus. hear it from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This all right. is nuts. So that's, the, that's basically. The, the nuclear family at yes. the time of your growing up. It's, it's you. It's me is like the older brother, and then I have uh, three. You just re- refer yeah. to as a nuclear family. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's a spider web of trash. <laughs> nuclear like a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking blast zone. <laughs> Fuck it. We're not talking about two you know, mom and dad and two point five kids with a picket fence. We're talking about woods people. Dad, or, <laughs> dad arrives home from work around five o'clock, and the kids are playing in the front yard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, dude, I'm fucking. What did your mom do? What did your stepdad do? So when I was a kid, my mom worked at Red Lobster. <laughs> and then, and then, that's why we were in Bloomington. She managed a Red Lobster. She was damn good at it too. But Is your family crest a switchblade and a Bud Light? <laughs> yeah. No, we were a, a natural light family, sir. <laughs> Bud Light. That's easy, what are we? Yeah. What are we fucking one percenters? <laughs> He just said, my mom worked at a Red Lobster. That's, That's why, why we were, we were in, in Bloomington. Bloomington. Yep. I thought, I go, oh, maybe the corporate's there or something. <laughs> you gotta she go with just ch- still worked at a branch. You got to go where the cheddar biscuits are. You know what I mean? She had to move for Red Lobster. <laughs> they were like, it's either you move or you gotta, you're got you fired. Or Is whatever. that true? Or like she, they were like, we're opening this branch. We want you to manage it. She was, was a like manager. A slight, she became a manager. They actually was, make decent. They, they did all right. Yeah, they she, yeah, would, yeah, yeah. she would work shifts, though. And she, my mom is a hustler. And mm-hmm. she's, a, she's a nurse practitioner now. She like truly is like a miracle of a story because uh-huh. she had kids when she was 13. That's nice. crazy. Came from a huge family. Worked her way out of poverty and nice. like That's became what I a nurse practitioner Fantastic. while I was Fantastic. like in college. That's fucking amazing. Thank yeah. God we got a break. Yeah, in that. Man, I didn't know where the silver fuck lining. That was gonna go. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. So oh, shit. so she started working at the hospital when I was a kid. She's okay. like working like 60, 70, 80 hours Hustling. a week, getting yeah, it done, getting right it on. done, making sure we have food in our mouths and shit. Uh, because my stepdad was a fucking dumbass, okay. and like he was, what did he, he, do? he worked at an oil change place that was next to the Red Lobster, which I think is how they met. I don't do, ask a lot of questions. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, it's yeah, pretty hot, if you ask me. That's out, that's like a John Cougar song. That's hundred like, <laughs> percent. That's a five percent tip at the Red Lobster. <laughs> Really, check, yeah. really working on the pipes. I, I like that. Damn. 
<laughs> this is a fucking America's Got Talent? This I'm a crazy. huge John Cougar fan. I want to say that right oh, now. Right, huge bad, everything. I if, we're, <laughs> if we're going on the record. <laughs> Despite his, his poor gratuity habits <laughs> and ill manners at the shoe carnival, I think, I think Jack and Diane was the first song I remember remembering. Does that make sense? What the hell does that mean? That's what I mean. What the fuck? <laughs> remember remembering? Do you remember that? You're in the Matrix, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Is this Inception? <laughs> <laughs> no, like that was like the first song I remember hearing. Yeah. Like, yeah my my okay. earliest memory of music was that. All right. Yeah, All memorizing right. that. Hmm. Okay. This guy's judging me. Remember, <laughs> remember. Oh, remember. Now. <laughs> oh, uh, All right. All right. Um, Whew. Do you see why I had to bring a beer Dude, to do yeah. this? I thought I'm, I'm upset you didn't terrible. bring six. I grossly <laughs> underestimated you. I love it. Holy cow. All right. So then you're... Nurse, your mom's a nurse practitioner at this yeah, point. Now, yeah. Define he what said that happened in college, though. Oh, that happened so we're, in college. We're, yeah, stay, so it's yeah, Red so Lobster she starts nur- up. She's She becomes a nurse when I was like maybe seven or something like that. Okay. So yeah. She starts... Yeah, she starts okay. working. She's doing, she's doing good stuff, but... Stepdad's not doing anything. He is an oil change guy. He's working, still working there. Uh, we yeah, work there. Still, yeah, but uh, you know, he's he's home a lot. She's not. Are they so together like, still now? They are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, so again, can't get too sure. Just just, just, yeah, just trying to just trying to see. Protect the innocent, yeah, 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 please. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, but um. All right. So then, where does it come in that he gets drunk and stands in the front yard? That was about a once a month thing because he would get drunk all the time. But uh, he, I couldn't do shit at night. It would if I wanted to like play basketball like on the team or whatever. One, I would got cut. So, but, <laughs> but also, I couldn't country. do it because I he would have to be my ride, and he was like, I can't drive at night. But I, he said it was his vision. It's like, no, you were hammered. Yeah, every it was night. the it was the thirteen <laughs> Schlitz. <laughs> like when he took he taught me to drive, and he was like. You're driving too suspiciously because he had a beer. He had a beer in the car. <laughs> oh, you got to swerve a little shit. bit. He's like, you're driving to let too. You, to let him know you're not a fucking You're going the dork. speed limit. It's suspicious around here. Yeah. You know? It's like a country road. He's yeah. like, if they see you doing that, you're going to get pulled over, and then I'm fucked. Holy wow. shit. Wow. What does that do to the psychology of, of, of a driver when you learn to drive? Makes you drink truly to 215. <laughs> yep, yep. 245. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever pull a bank job, you're the wheel man. I'll yeah. tell you that. Gang, this podcast is brought to you by our good friends at BetterHelp. Oh, yeah. Uh, BetterHelp wants you to take care of your mental health. We want you to take care of your mental health. That's why if you use BetterHelp, they can evaluate you and they can assign you a professional licensed therapist that you could be talking to within 48 hours from the privacy of your own home. Mm -hmm. Listen, guys, we're all little boncos. Everybody knows that. (laughs) You got to talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Believe me. I started talking to somebody. It helps a lot. And with BetterHelp, uh, you can start communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis hotline. It's not a self-help hotline. It's professional counseling done securely online. Uh, there's a broad range of expertise available uh, that may not be available locally. If you're in a small town or whatever, you can get the help that you need. Um, it's available to clients worldwide. Woo! So for our uh, you know, our foreign listeners, you, you can go. get in on that, that good old American <laughs> health care that there we all know. Uh, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available if you need it. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. You can mm-hmm. visit their website, read the testimonials, the whole nine yards. Uh, but if you visit BetterHelp.com slash garbage, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and join over the one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Uh, in fact, so many people are using BetterHelp to recruiting um, counselors in all 50 states. There you go. I'm th- even Alaska and Hawaii, baby. They're growing, you know what I mean? baby. Uh, special offer for all you garbage listeners. You'll get 10% off your first month. There you go. I ain't talking one week. I ain't talking one time. I'm talking your whole month. They you want you I mean? to get better. Who doesn't? So go to betterhelp.com slash garbage. Yeah. High school? What was that like? Oh, man. It sucked. It was, it was bad. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I didn't this. think it was going to be like Saved by the Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it turns out that sort of background doesn't make you a social butterfly. <laughs> Nobody relates to your weird stories. <laughs> and my stepdad would like make me listen to his fucking music all the time. He'd get drunk. And he'd be like, "You gotta hear this song." He'd have me up to like three in the morning because he's like partying, but sure. he doesn't have any friends. He's so partying like, with you. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah, the yeah. I'm the guy who's like uh, he's like thinks we're having fun. But he's like, you got to listen to this. He got me into, like, Journey and ACDC and shit. That's pretty good. But the other kids at school didn't give a fuck about that. Like, yeah. I remember the teacher was like, you guys probably haven't heard of Journey. And I was like, I raised my hand. I was like, like I like Journey. I got tickets the next month. The teacher was like, ugh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen yeah. to him last night in the kitchen at 4 a.m. <laughs> All right. Holy fuck. Dude. Single family home? 
apartment, you said. And then, uh, you... then we moved into a house. Okay. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. In a so house. we yeah, we moved into a house when I was like five or something like that. Okay. Wow. Yeah, timeline's hazy. I was a booze bag as a kid. And that was the Woods Were you house really? or no? No, no. <laughs> I didn't start drinking until I was like twenty two. No, I guess I start I didn't really start having drinks until I was like twenty two, twenty three. Because I had a I went through a broken engagement when I was twenty two and then I just I decided I was like, I'm gonna be like in a movie, I'm gonna live like a movie character who ca- gets out of a bad relationship and just okay. start drinking whiskey. Yeah, and I made myself like it. Now it's uh, you know, a problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got engaged at 22. I got engaged when I was 21, 22. Yeah, High school sweetheart? Uh, no, it was a college uh, slash coworker uh, that I was. Uh, what was the job? I worked at the hospital. When I was 18, I moved out, and I got a job at the hospital that my mom worked at. Okay. In the emergency department as, like, a insurance. Like, I would get people's insurance sure, information sure, sure. at the hospital. And uh, so we met while I was doing that, and I, like, I lost a bunch of weight. I got my confidence up. I was living alone. I You know, I started doing comedy. And, uh, and so I met this girl, and uh, we, yeah, she moved to Ohio. We got engaged when I graduated. I moved to Ohio to live with her, and then it fell apart immediately. Mm, <laughs> it was geez. it crashed and burned so fast because she was in med school, and I'm just an asshole driving to Columbus, Ohio, to do open mics every night. You right? Know? Yeah. It was. Uh, huh. Where'd you go to school? Did you go to? Indiana? I went to IU. Yeah, yeah. I went to the school in my hometown because right. it was cheaper. You know, Indiana cheap. University. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Okay. Nice little school. And you graduated? I graduated, okay, baby. Okay, just checking. I did it. Just checking. I did it. I think I was the first, like, I was the first, like, member of my, like, local, like, my family to, to graduate from college. Wow. <laughs> Probably first one to get into. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. apply, I think, at that matter. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like you had stiff competition, to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> you were number one, two, and three in your class. Um, <laughs> what'd you get on your SATs? That's a good because so I did SATs when they were doing that goofy shit where the you had to do the essay. It was like yeah, twenty four hundred or something like no, that. Twenty four, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I twenty four. I I did all right. Yeah, I was a, I was a good student as a kid. I was trying to go to med school, and then I you know got sucked into comedy. And so uh, the more I did comedy, I was like, "There's no fucking way, no way that can happen." Yeah, be a doctor, but. Uh, yeah, I did all right. I think I got like if it not counting that essay thing, I think I got like a twelve hundred or something like that. That's pretty good. Not That's bad. Good. That's good. GPA in high school high. It was pretty high. It wasn't like a four, but it was like three point seven or some shit like that. <laughs> what schools did you apply like to? What schools did you only get into? IU? Wow. Only IU because I I didn't I one and done huh? I'm cheap. Like I didn't want. Talk I about hated putting it all on idea. red. <laughs> God damn. I hated I hated the idea of having debt. Like I didn't want to have to take out a bunch of loans and shit. And like I had some child support money left over. I I only got one child support payment from my my father who was a doctor. He gave us one sum of money just to be like. All right, that's it. That's all you're getting. And it when was, was this? Low. It when was you like were young? Uh, he, it was right before I turned 18. We because we had to hunt it down. It was 10 grand for my entire childhood. Okay, and we just put that towards college. Nice. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> Whew. Stepdad didn't grift it on you. That's cool. <laughs> Get his hands on that. You got a case oh, of he had a out of it. To touch it, <laughs> it would have been gone. <laughs> now, what you doing with that money, Tom? <laughs> oh, I like that he's Creole. He's got like a he's got a little southern. He's, he's got a little got twang to him. He's all hopped up on oil. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> he's all t- it's ten W twenty in the veins. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, raised any religion? Catholic, Christian. Dude, we tried Catholic. My my Who tries it. We tried out Catholic. The problem is like I don't know if this is what it is, but I've kind of speculated. So my mom had been divorced already. You know, she had kids. My my also I had a bad history with religion right off the bat because my stepdad's mom was our babysitter, and I wasn't baptized, and I was a bastard child. I was born out of wedlock. She was like, "You're going to hell. Like you're a bastard child." Jesus so I was like Christ. immediately like, "Well, I guess." Fuck me. Like, yeah. what are you talking about? I, I got nothing it. to lose. <laughs> hey, honey, how about some Dunkaroos and the Jetsons, will you? Fucking save the Brimstone never, talk There was never later. a moment where it was like, and you can get out. She was like, I mean, you should probably get baptized. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Like, what it was the like, fuck? Jesus so we went Christ. to Catholic church, but we uh, we didn't fit in. And then when I was like 16, I started going to Baptist church because I played basketball with a bunch of Baptists, and they sucked me in. They were like, they were like, we got to play basketball in the Baptist church, like, in the league. And, like, I was a fat kid. I couldn't make my high school team. So I was like, hell yeah, I can finally play. And then just one night they were like, we got to talk to you, buddy. Uh, have you been saved? And I was like, God damn it. I just wanted to play basketball. And then I did that for two years and then uh, bailed. You were yeah. baptized? 
I did get baptized. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Now and you're in Indiana. You do that in a river or in the <laughs> We church? did it in the church. Yeah. Okay. There was just a tub. Uh in our church. I fucking hated this place. A tub? It was, uh, it was like a tank. It was like a. It was like a, it was a, a dunk fish tank. tank. Someone, yeah, it was, it was like throwing, a dunk tank. Someone's throwing it fucking legit. baseballs at him. <laughs> you got like, baptized at yeah, shoe yeah, carnival. You, you, only, yeah, you only get salvation if I can hit this yeah. target. <laughs> I got five tickets. A bunch uh, of goldfish <laughs> in there with you. <laughs> we only got one tank. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! So I did kid. get baptized uh, when I was like when I was like seventeen. Yeah, that's so weird to think of too. That's a that's a yeah, that's distant memory. That's yeah, crazy. That's a weird thing, man. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I uh, apologize, boys. No, I this probably, is, this should have been lighter. No, no what are you talking this is, about, buddy? This is the fucking meat of it. <laughs> <laughs> I just this I think, is our Super Bowl, dude. Yeah, dude. I just also think that. Our perspective of because we're you know we're, we know each other you know from comedy and stuff yeah. like that but we're not super tight and so I was like our outside perspective of you was uh, not this well by I don't, any means. I don't uh, I talk a little bit about it on stage but not a t- I like touch on it because this is the fucking thing that's annoying about stand up because I like a lot of people like oh my childhood we drank water at the creek and it's like funny when I tell stories sometimes it's people so are like, real oh my yeah God. it's crazy. I don't yeah. want to fucking hear this shit. I'm trying to, to chase eat salamanders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 like. I'm trying to eat a chicken wing in the front row of a comedy club. I don't want to hear this shit. People crying. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, God. All right. All right. I want to get into some more. I, tra- or do you want to do some more background? I don't know. I mean, I don't. When I want to I want to go back to one thing. When did the Woods house come into play? That was that was, the house right out of the That was apartment? out of the apartment. Yeah, into yeah. the woods. Okay. Yep, All into right. the woods. What kind of gun did he have out in the front yard? He had a, a pistol and it was always this thing of like there was a vague threat that he was going to use it for something <laughs> bad. Who? Against who? Any <laughs> of us. He, oh, he, he pointed at me that. before, yeah. And I have a bit about <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is, I have a bit about I'm that sure I don't a knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> You guys know when you're hanging out and your stepdad pulls a gun on you. That I I have a bit of how I don't like guns because and it's true. There was a time when uh, he made me shoot it with him, which sounds fun, except for it was in it was just us standing outside of the woods shooting at the woods because he was mad. It's like there's people like we don't know if there's yeah, people somebody yeah. hiking somewhere shooting mystery bullets. <laughs> <laughs> the bit I do is like because it's like Indiana. It's like even if it hit a guy, he'd just be like, oh. That's the price of freedom. <laughs> like he just be, he's just like, I deserve it. Being, oh, that's what I get for being around. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did he have a collection of guns? Just one gun. I don't. One even know. gun. Yeah, that's scary. One gun. That's more a lot gun. scarier. That's more. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So he wasn't a hunter. Oh no, <laughs> hunter no, of humans. He wasn't a gatherer. He couldn't do shit. <laughs> he never got one berry. <laughs> um, mm. Yeah. Just, is there anything else before we move on to the questions? This because this is what I was thinking. I, I don't I don't know where to go. So <laughs> sure. you tell us: Is there anything else you think we need to know? That's a good question because it's so it's so broad that I I think that, I think that's probably it. That's, I think that gives us a it. good picture. Yeah, there's so much stuff that I like came in like oh that's something, but then it's like not childhood related. But I I do a lot of dirtbag shit in my adult life, but. Yeah, as a kid, it's like that's. I think that covers most of it. Did you guys eat at the Red Lobster a fair amount? That or no? was still like kind of a luxury. But yeah, some one of the first meals I remember is those Cheddar Bay biscuits. You know, <laughs> hey, that's one of the first meals that I remember. Hey, something wrong, brother. Something nothing wrong with those babies. <laughs> uh, did you ever hang out at the Red Lobster while your mom was working? Like, were you like a work uh, no, kid? Okay. I, no, although I think I do remember us going there for dinner, and then they were short, and then her getting up and going to work. Holy shit! Because she would take whatever she could get. Yeah. I respect that yeah. though. She's Worker. a hustler. Yeah. And now she's a nurse practitioner. She's doing well. Yeah. She's Have they kind of mellowed a little bit in their older, you know, getting older? Yeah. I mean, she still works the fuckload, and she has her own house. And I just stuff. meant like with like, the the guns and the. Oh, I don't know. I like. I don't fuck with that guy. <laughs> like, okay. I don't like. I try to keep my distance. Uh, I looked at he he. <laughs> His Facebook popped up oh, on my shit. That guy's day. Facebook is probably bonkos. <laughs> and it was like, live in Bloomington, but I'm not a liberal. And I was oh, like, all right. Why is who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, Bloomington's hyper liberal. Really? Yeah. Bloomington is uh, was like voted the number one like most gay friendly city in the world in like the early 2000s. Really? And it's like some people really like that. And when I go back, it's like I hang out in the part of town that's like that. And uh-huh. then, but the the other half of the town is not, not like a that fan, at all. Huh? Like it's, it's like. 
when I was a kid, our main hangout was Walmart. Like, that's the sort of town that I grew up in. And then the city part is, like, super liberal. There's, like, sweaters on the trees and shit. Like, it's it's all knickknacks and shit. Like, it's all, like, little knickknack stores. Yeah, yeah like antiques and shit like that. Yeah, it's like a, it's an economy well, that's that built nice. for Mother's Day, you know? <laughs> Whew, shit. All right. Do they still live in that same house? No, uh, so he does. She has her own house, but they're still uh, married. Like I said, that's okay. some shit I don't want to sure, yeah, sure, sure, do sure, too sure. much because that's their shit. All right, then we'll go. We'll go with the. Do you remember the street name of the apartment that you were born in? Ooh, it was. Uh, it was like a. It was a complex for you know. I think it was like controlled rent sort of shit, and it was called Park Slope. Park Slope. What was yeah. the street that it was on? That I cannot remember. Maybe Highland Park or something like that. What the fuck was that street? That doesn't, doesn't sound that too, doesn't bad. Too, too bad. Too bad. Name it, of it. It's, it was it's, though. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it doesn't. They name shit like that so that it doesn't sound like. Oh, you might. You have a thirty percent chance of dying yeah, yeah, in yeah, this yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Not, Even not, in Indiana. Not going to graduate lane. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Pregnancy Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> Straight Bullet Street. <laughs> All right, you pushed it. Yeah, I pushed it. <laughs> <laughs> God, go up from Street. You can't go back to Street. He was giving me a look to like I'm gonna go for it. And I was like, No, big man, don't do it. <laughs> don't a, do it. That's a classic H Foley line. Doesn't know when to get out. In slow motion, look at Toby. Watch uh, this. You were, you were like me with GameStop. It's like yeah. we gotta get out. Yeah. yeah. Pushed uh, one too man. many. I apologize. <laughs> um, okay. What was the name of the grocery store that your mom went to growing up? Kroger, and I worked at that grocery store. Kroger, nothing wrong Kroger. with it. What'd you Respectable do at, institution. What'd you do at Kroger? I bagged groceries and pushed carts, and yeah. they thought, I know, like, I get all this shit, but I people in Indiana thought I was Mexican. I'm half Indian. Sure. My father, but, like, uh, they thought I was Mexican, and they were like, you're Mexican. You go push the carts. Jesus. <laughs> so, yeah, it was crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's like so, the Forrest Gump of dirt balls. <laughs> <laughs> I know you He's experienced racism, <laughs> guns pulled on him. He should be telling us this on a bench somewhere, waiting for a bus. <laughs> We're both crying. I try to walk the country, but I only I just keep doing loops around Phoenix. <laughs> Holy Sit next to a millionaire. Shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right. Um Yeah, at first the Pounder seem fucked up, but now it seems responsible. Yeah, it really <laughs> does, man. This is my medicine. I'm surprised. Baby. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm happy it's not a fifth of fucking you know grandpappy. This is like this is like the first season of True Detective where Matthew McConaughey was just sitting there crushing Lone Stars yeah. or whatever. That's what I feel like's going on. We're right We're not now. a lot of smoking here, but I'll let you. I mean. <laughs> so you boys want to talk about garbage, huh? <laughs> On your cute little the lights, <laughs> yeah. that would, I should have just been dead eyed into the camera the entire time. <laughs> I mean, also, oh, I'll tell you about garbage. Uh, also, the questions I, I have, like, how many times a week do you floss? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I, th- I thought I was gonna have to be digging for some stuff. <laughs> Did that? Okay. I apologize. No, no, oh, dude, this is <laughs> fantastic. Stop I just have to switch gears a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we're just upset. We're gonna have to make room in the Hall of Fame for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're gonna have to extend gonna be like, the trophy this guy case. Is fucking too serious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, one of my questions: Do you ever wear a Hard Rock Cafe T-shirt? <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> I was. I came in playing ping pong. This I guy's wish. fucking. We didn't go on vacation, so it's yeah, like, that's what did a it, vacation what did it to car, uh, We went vaca- to Florida one time. We went to Disney World. It was a fucking nightmare because we, we went for like- What do you mean I can't bring my gun in here? <laughs> Your dad's we, fighting Mickey. We, <laughs> we, stayed at a, we stayed at like a, a motel on the way down. It was like an- econ- You no, drove we, down? We drove oh. from Indiana to Florida. <laughs> I didn't fly until I was in my 20s. Um, Holy shit. You have a passport? I do now, okay. uh, but I had to get it like okay. I had to get it to do Montreal. Like, uh, I never that was like one of the first times I flew. So, uh, yeah, I had to. <laughs> I, we didn't in the fly. Whole time. Like, I, <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of just pictures, grabbing trying to people t- around me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Are we gonna be okay? <laughs> Nothing is happening. <laughs> What in the Sir, fuck? Sir, we're still dude. at the gate. You want to relax, please? <laughs> oh, man. No, I yeah, we went to we went to Orlando to go to Disney what, World. What was the car you drove down in? Do you we remember? We drove, yeah, it was an Astro van. It was a oh, it dude, was that a, is. Yeah. I've gone on record month. Yeah. That's the trashiest car <laughs> of all time. Are you serious? The That's Astro so van. Funny. Yeah. We thought it was sick. When we got it, we were like, oh <laughs> fuck. 
<laughs> of living course large. you did. Because most of my life or most of my childhood, we had been driving around in my mom's beat up uh, Honda Civic. And it was, it had oh, like. Oh man, new Ast- those Astro vans stink. <laughs> it, they it always bad. smelt like eggs. <laughs> it did smell bad. And, uh, was it new at the time? It was not new. My but, mom, we would, ne- well now my, no, we would never buy a new car. <laughs> That's that's you're just losing money immediately. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you lo- it loses eighty uh, percent of its value the yeah. second you uh, touch its. Uh, that's dick. such a trashy metric. Yeah, it's, I know. Such a where does such he, a <laughs> dirt ball metric. You didn't buy the Astro van for the family trip, did you? Not for the trip. It was because well, we well, my mom had a, a kid when she was like forty. Like didn't know she could still have a kid. And then we were like, fuck, we need a we need more a room. Bigger car, yeah. yeah. We're gonna need a bigger van. Oh my God. But uh, <sighs> yeah, we dropped. Drive down there and that everybody hates each other by the time we get there. How old are you? you? I was eleven. All right. Uh, I was in my like smart ass age. I had been watching a lot of like Boy Meets World, and I was like, I got a program, sharp tongue now. I I (laughs) I had a wit, you know, and so I would say little smart ass things that pissed my family off. Uh, And uh, and so the whole time we're fighting, we stay in this hotel that has roaches on the walls. When we get in there, and we're like. We had to change hotels in the middle of the night because we were just like, this is, they're crawling on us. It's fucked up. Oh, my God. So we go to a Best Western, and th- we were like, this is incredible. They have a pool. Like, <laughs> we were that family, the <laughs> ones ruining the pool. Like, just the trash family who doesn't, sure. like, nobody wants them there. Of course. <laughs> but luckily, it's Everyone's in jeans. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you have my... to take your shoes off in the hot tub. <laughs> These are my swimming j- shoes. <laughs> uh, so this is my swimming denim. I don't want um, my feet getting wet. <laughs> I don't want my feet yeah, getting I want, wet. I don't want any part of my skin touching <laughs> this water. <laughs> see my toes. <laughs> But I'm just dipping. <laughs> you got the one family member who's just like, I just got to dip my head in and I'm good. Um, <laughs> They're in there with a bottle of shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just rinsing off, darling. <laughs> but we went to Disney World. It was like this big thing. We were looking forward to it the whole week. It rains the whole day. We're there for like two hours. And then the, we were supposed to go the next day and my stepdad didn't want to go. So we just went to Daytona Beach, which was it was fun. But. That's the only vacation we ever went on. I'm sorry. We was there. the vacation two days? It was two days, yeah. You're joking. No. We How drove, long that You drive? drove from the dro- Indiana the to- drive? So I've had to do it in adulthood. It's I want to say it's like a 16-hour drive. It took us two days to get there. Wait, you drove two days to a vacation that was going to be two days long. Yep. And then drove- And then drove back. Two days back. Yep. Yeah. You drove two days to go on vacation for two days mm-hmm. and then drove two days back. Yeah. You didn't even stay at the place you were supposed to go on vacation for the two days. No. And then drove to Daytona Beach. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're Are You Garbage Neo? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he is. Oh, the class is trying to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Maybe you should drink water. Uh, <laughs> but I, I was I was never a kid that went we, we didn't go to Disney World. Yeah. I mean we wanted to, we would have, our cousins went and stuff like that, but it was just never it was just not gonna happen. Yeah. And so some of this might be a little bit of that biasness, but I really think mm-hmm. this is nothing against a Disney Corporation, Yo, go for Get Marvel em. Entertainment, or any of its subsidiaries, but Disney World can really go wrong. Because yes. the expectation there's so much on the table. Yes. There's so much on the table. A lot there's of money. So on much the line. money yes. at stake, and it's just filled with trash. It is. It's bad. <laughs> it's just it's bad. Insane. I've been recently. Yeah. I've been recently. Oh, you went recently? Yeah. My 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 mom uh, and stepdad took all the grandkids. We I, they have six nieces and nephews, so she take she yeah. took all the grandkids. And I went probably four years ago. Mm-hmm. It is tough. Yeah. yeah. Getting drunk I, in Epcot ain't, ain't nothing, I wanted, ain't that's nothing to put thing, your nose up at. That's something I would do now. I went to Disneyland right before the pandemic, like two that weeks. That's in California because yeah. I was out there for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, it's like we were like maybe it'll be like kind of dead because it was like right when COVID when people was like, were starting yeah, to talk about up, it. Yeah. It was before the NBA got canceled, but we were like maybe people will be scared. And then it was packed and like yeah, really? it took forever to do anything. It's not my type of spot. Like – I'm, with you. I'm not a ride guy. You know? I like I the like, rides. I don't I like, like a thrill. I've, I've there's not much there enough. for me. Yeah, I like all that stuff. It's just there's just something about like the anxiety that's created. Yeah, you know what I mean. The, for me, everything I do, and this is, I wish I could shake this, but everything I do, I'm like, am I getting my money's worth? Like it was really pounded into me as a kid. Like we gotta get our money's worth. 
Like when we would go to the buffet, if you didn't eat like five plates, it's like you're wasting the meal. Like Jesus. It's, it's you're wasting money to not eat as much as you can. You're wasting money if you if don't get as many rides. If or you whatever, wait in the yeah. wrong line for too long, you're like, well, shit, we could have just done this one later when it dies down. Yeah. Like that sort of. And it's always Tom wanted in to my go head. on the swings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always in my head. Like so, I, the whole time I'm like, well, this ticket was eighty five dollars and the parking was whatever. Am I am I having enough fun? Am I having one hundred and thirty dollars <laughs> fun? Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's an experience that you think is worth the money? That is a that's a good question. Anytime I go to a baseball game, I'm like, that was worth it. Nice. Do you buy the cheap seats and sneak down? Or what do you always, do? always. Oh, yeah. But although I was just in Phoenix and I I fucked I because I used to do this in Chicago all the time. I would jog. I would go. I go. I go to baseball games alone all the time because it's like I don't have a day job. So it's, it's the like best. when they have day games, I'll just go and have you know a couple drinks and like. But I jog there, and I was always I would always buy scalp tickets in like the it's second inning or whatever. Yeah, and I would get you know thirty dollar uh like first base three rows back seats, mm-hmm. and I tried to do that in Phoenix this weekend because I was like, there's no fucking way anybody. Is, I'm sorry to time this, so I'll we can change it around. No, no get out of here. So no. I was just in the uh, curtain's been pulled back. <laughs> yeah, I, mean. I was I was in Phoenix this weekend, and uh, the Cubs were in town. I'm a Cubs fan. Sure. And I was like, oh hell yeah! And it was Game Five of the NBA Finals oh, yeah. in Phoenix. That could be empty. I was deal. like, nobody's gonna be there. I'm gonna be living large. The place is fucking packed with Cubs really? fans. It was insane. Oh, with Cubs fans. Yeah, and I it still cost me like fifty bucks to get a decent seat, and I was like, but again, fully worth it. Uh, yeah, I love I love that. Uh, what else is totally worth it? That's a good question. What's I it? don't know that anything is. What's it? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't a know. Ball that game's about forty eight ninety nine. You know what's worth it? Uh, the PlayStation Five is because uh, that I like something like that where it's like I can just sit here and waste my entire life. Well, you can you you can build up hours. It's exactly. not it's not it's not it's infinite. Yes. right? Like it's like I whatever like you put into it, you're I like, like it's it's an all you can eat buffet that you yeah. never have to leave. Yep. You just keep damaged going. goods, yep. man. Yeah. I fucking love them. Whereas, uh, you know, Disney World, that's a strip club dance. You <laughs> yeah, know, the whole time you're like, yeah. the time I is got, counting yeah, down exactly. till my ticket runs out. What's a typical What's a typical family buffet at the Takar House? I mean, we would, my, me and my mom would go to a Chinese buffet as like our number one thing. We would be like, because there was a Chinese buffet that opened in my town that had crab legs. And that was like we would just real camp out. Buster. We would that changed my life. <laughs> 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 that was like our thing. We would go and uh, just wait for the crab legs to come out, and it was like heaven, heaven. I love it. We weren't like a golden corral family, really, but Chinese buffets. And I loved, I love Chinese buffets take on American food too, uh-huh. where it's like it's just like a piece of pizza and a birthday cake, and they're like, "You're American." You'll like that. <laughs> and I loved that shit. It was like right up my alley. Uh, that is. That is what is worth it. <laughs> that that is what is worth it. To it's circle back to buffet. your question, that is f- always worth it. Is like I also love like a uh, not a Benihana. What's the place like Hibachi? Uh, hibachi Grills. Yes. Trash. This guy's trash. <laughs> that I mean, I was on the fence before. What? Uh, hibo- I'm joking. I'm like, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. Do you have any pets growing up? Oh, this, God, Jesus! If you say Everything if you say ferret, we're, 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 this is over. We had a dog and we had to give it away because my stepdad kept feeding it beer and like my mom was oh like, we can't God. have this happening. And then we got dogs when I was a little older. And then my mom has dogs now. Hold on, and when, then, well, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yes. How old were you when you gave away the first dog? That was we. Were, I was like five and oh, I was that's, fucking oh, devastating. I love the dog. Dude, I, can't I love the dog. It. And my stepdad would be like, uh, like he's, a, he, he's an asshole. Animals fucking hate him. It's so funny. We Every dog we ever got would just growl at him. I kind of get that, too. so though. funny. <laughs> I think if I ever meet him, I'll be growling at him. <laughs> but, uh, you should be a CIA assassin. <laughs> I mean, we all yeah. agree on that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, my I've every therapist I've had, and I I burn through them. They're like, <laughs> they, they, they always quit on the spot. They yeah. like throw the folder down. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but uh, they're always like, uh, if you didn't have a good mom, you would be dead. Right yeah, now. yeah, like, yeah, my yeah, mom. yeah. You'd be dead Jesus. or murdering people. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for yeah. Sure. You would you uh, would have been the worst doctor to ever live. <laughs> yep. You yeah, would have been drinking a white claw. Like I don't know, man, your shit's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> yeah, your shit. It is all fucked up. That's We're going to make the first incision here. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I miffed that. I'd say miff a lot. <laughs> oh, need oh, a mulligan on this one, boys. One. <laughs> <laughs> do over, do over. 
<laughs> somebody, somebody tweaked the fentanyl. I need a neuralizer over here. This guy ain't going to remember a goddamn thing. Oh, man. Okay. You gave the dog away. So, but then we, we got, uh, we, and we had yard cats. Like, we had all these cats that would just be in our yard and we would throw food at all our leftovers. We'd go to them. So they were kind of our pets. But no, we they could, were no, not they your weren't. pets. Yeah. And I've they never were, heard. Couldn't, like, pet them or anything. But I've <laughs> never heard the phrase yard cat. No. Yeah. Yeah. We had yeah we had cats that would just roam the area and we would uh, we'd feed them so they'd be hanging out out there all the time yard cats yeah we had we had like turtles we would find turtles in the road and put them in a you know kiddie pool in our basement that's a good time in your basement mm-hmm, mm-hmm. pay them to I, th- fight. I think that's a pretty <laughs> Place that's bets. A, that's Place a bets more, on them that's for some reason that was like a common thing and I heard you're not supposed to do that but uh, in adult age but you know I was a kid I didn't know but we, yeah we we would. You just see a turtle in the road yeah. that was getting run over a million times, and then you're like, all right, I guess we'll put you in the kiddie pool. <laughs> then, <laughs> Fill it with know. beer. <laughs> why, would you have, why did you have a kiddie pool in the basement? That's a good question. My stepdad <laughs> was into some weird <laughs> shit. Uh, no, I, yeah. Why did we have a kiddie pool in the basement? Well, I don't think it was set up the whole time right that's a, that's you a good point catch it we and would, then fill it with, we would yeah. put the kiddie pool on the on the uh on the porch when it was hot yeah. or whatever okay we, we just, were just gonna leave it outside yeah. the yard we weren't sure. that bad you didn't have a regular pool i assume oh no no <laughs> my, my stepdad where would the mom yard cats go <laughs> my stepdad's mom had an above ground pool nice and uh that was like when she got that it changed our lives we were like uh in it all the time and uh it got pretty gross she was always like the one who would like do shit my mom didn't want us to have because she was like it's dangerous. She worked at the hospital. She would like everything. Yeah, no trampolines anything, or anything. This is yeah. we had. It, she. This is a huge story. I've been doing. I hate to. I'm not trying to do my bit, but like I have a bit about this because my mom so vehemently didn't want us to get a trampoline because she she worked at the hospital. So anything we wanted to do, she'd be like, I see kids coming in here yeah. all fucked up. Like you can't have this. You can't have that because. She would see. She was like, "You never ride a motorcycle. Uh, you don't get a trampoline. Pools. She would just see kids get fucked up from them. So uh, she, uh, my my stepdad's mom was like, "These kids are too sheltered. They don't. They need a trampoline. They don't have anything, you know." And so when we were kids, we had this shit. And so this she, lady who told you you were going to hell, right? Yes. Okay. And so she gets he cares a about a broken arm. I mean, <laughs> yeah. He's fucking spending eternity in fucking hell. <laughs> He might Care, as well live it up yeah, now. Who cares about here. a neck brace or a lip? <laughs> you might as well live it up now, young man, because you're going to be cooking. <laughs> so <sighs> she gets us a trampoline day one because no. it's not the one that has, like, the net around well, it. Well, the nets the nets didn't come around until, like, yeah, early, that's like, new tech. mid mid, yeah. mid 2000s. So <laughs> this was just a trampoline in the woods, like, truly in the woods. Uh, it was, like, a clearing that we had it. Immediately, my brother... I'm watching him do this. He starts to float away from the... He's hopping on it. He's going really high. He starts yeah. to float away <laughs> and then just catches the side of the trampoline and breaks ah, his leg immediately. And my her, my grandma, my step-grandma, hadn't told my mom she got the trampoline and then had to call her and be like, you're not going to be happy. Yeah, but, that's... Uh, yeah. Listen, I got a trampoline. It gets worse. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, once yeah. Alabama gets the internet, you're going to be the biggest comic on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they think my I'm condescending. God. What was it? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I said they think I'm kind of silly when I tell these stories because I'm not telling them like, "Hey, remember how fun that was?" You are. <laughs> what were the names of the pets? What was the pet that, you, that got Nicholas given away? was the dog that got taken oh my away. God. <laughs> Nicholas. I know it's not. A, I didn't. I don't think I named him. That'd be weird. But it, and now when I think of it, I think of the Swartzen bit. Where he's like Nicholas. Nicholas. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which would have made sense. Nicholas. Then we had like Sissy. Which is a true hillbilly dog. True name. trash. Yeah, name. sissy. Uh, Daisy is one now. What are they? They're Rocky. I named one Lucky. Uh, who did not? Not at the car house. He did not <laughs> die in a lucky way. Um, <laughs> Drunk driving accident. <ex. laughs> <laughs> he got yeah. too tuned up. I told him. I was like, "Give me your keys." <laughs> Well, you know these dogs don't listen. You know, he just said, "Come on, man, take an Uber." (laughs) The cop is like, "Who let the dogs out?" (laughs) That sucked. (laughs) No, I like it. Anything, dude, a good "Who let the dog out" reference? Come on. Yeah, I like it. 
Really fast, just a quick aside. I know. Sure, we're please. Doing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the did, floor, you, yeah. did you know that this who is let a the safe do- space? The floor is yours. <laughs> did you know? Found that out who, about this recently. Who let the dogs out is is like a horrific song because it's a it's not about dogs at all. It's no. about ugly women at a party. Yeah. Who <laughs> it's let about the dogs ugly out? women walking into a party and they're like, "Who let the dogs yeah. out?" <laughs> it's so because mean. it's like you're at a party, the rhythm was jumping, yeah, and yeah. like they set the stage and then just be like, and then these ugly whores show up. <laughs> it's so mean. <laughs> It's so it's such a mean thing. Yeah, to do. It's, it's, it's such a silly song I too. Know. It's it was so huge. Funny. The kids were singing it. Yeah, yeah. It's like if All Star was about just like whores. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um. All right. Let's see. You double jointed. I am double jointed. Yeah. That's weird that you asked that. How did you? Know? I, yeah, look at that. That was like a point of pride. Oh, yeah, all your kid. fingers go back. Yeah, huh? double, I remember being like, "This is cool trick <laughs> I have as a kid." Just a true freak. So yeah, high school wasn't great, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. I was the kid who was like, "I'm double jointed and I can juggle." <laughs> <laughs> double jointed is a tough look. Um, <laughs> anyone in your family ever involved in a class action lawsuit? Ooh, that's a good question. Have they? I don't think. I don't think so. I don't okay. believe. I don't remember them ever talking about anything like that because my that is something that I could see them chasing after, but yeah. I don't uh, I don't think anybody. I'm sure I have cousins that uh, are, have who, dabbled in yeah. or attempted to get into the client pool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Have you or any member of your family ever hired a private investigator for any reason? No, 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 not a private investigator. Actually, kind of. Yes, <laughs> I said that and immediately had to take it back because that's how we found my father. We had to find, we had to track my father down to get child support, and so it was kind of like that. It was yeah. a private investigator. I didn't think of it like that at the time, but yeah, that's Whew. what it was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you got to track your dad down. <laughs> hey man, he's somewhere. That's why God made Dog the Bounty Hunter? Am I right? <laughs> uh, anyone in your family own their own bowling ball? No, we, we did actually when I was a kid. Yes, my stepdad had one. But that didn't travel. That didn't. Ke- we weren't a family that like went out and did, did stuff, shit like yeah. that. Yeah, we we maybe went bowling once when I was a kid, but that was like not. Yeah, we didn't do shit. We just mm. we watched TV and movies. That was like our that was our uh, recreational time. Okay. okay. Watch Dukes of Hazard in Dallas. <laughs> that was our fun. That's. I was the kid at school trying to talk about Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wanted to have it. <laughs> I, I sounds crazy. I just started rewatching it. Over the pandemic, still kind of holds up. Really? Like, yeah, it ain't bad. I gotta, I, maybe I'll bad. get a rewatch because as a kid, it was like the first soap opera type thing I got into. Now, who would watch? Because it was I, me and my stepdad would stay up and watch it. Because really? it was on like Nick, it was like the repeat. It was yeah, like, yeah, the repeat. You know, yeah. uh, and it was like they would show them in order, and it was like the first time my mom was like, all right, you can stay up. Because it was on at like 10. Mm-hmm. So I, and that started a, a, a long trajectory of me. Not going to bed at night. I would just watch TV until I passed out, and then, uh, yeah, because I got a TV in my room eventually. But yeah, I, that was the first thing that's like, all right, you can stay up if you're watching Dallas. <laughs> 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 you're gonna enjoy the fine <laughs> artistic stylings of <laughs> Dallas. Watching, you gotta stay up. We gotta let this boy watch Dallas. Watching Dallas with your stepdad. He smoked. Did he smoke? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that guy in the house. Yeah, in the house. Yeah, it was. Uh, that was. A thing I remember, there was like a turning point in my childhood where I was like, oh, the smoke's not bothering me anymore. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I remember because he would smoke in the living room and the living room was just down the hall from my bedroom. So, you know, how smoke travels. And I would just be up at night like, ah. (laughs) And then eventually I was like, I can, I'm fine. One floor house? Yes. Uh, Well, we had a, we had a basement garage actually, but it wasn't like we had an upstairs bedroom situation. The living room was that. And then. The basement was like just my stepdad's area to go tinker around. Hmm. What kind of cigs did he smoke? Do you remember? He smoked Mar- Marlboro Lights. Ooh, a okay. gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. I take back everything I've said about the guy. <laughs> he drank Natty Light. Everything was light. Yeah. So it was healthy. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of a fitness freak. <laughs> Real health nut. <laughs> I, it looks funny. It's like I, I can't imagine being an adult. Like, you know, I like I work out and stuff. My stepdad, the only thing I would ever see him do that was exercise is he had a John Deere tractor, and sometimes he would just like pull it up just to Dude, prove that he was, just to prove <laughs> that he was still strong. Oh my god! Hey, Deb, I still got it. <laughs> <sighs> a couple of food questions. Yes. Pack your lunch in the high school or 
buy lunch. It 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 went uh event I started buying lunch. Uh I think that was like an upgrade in our uh finances at some point where I was able to buy lunch cuz okay. for a long time I was a lunchable kid and then Really? Yeah, I would do lunchables and then what was the other thing we would have? My mom would just pack like a turkey sandwich and uh and a Mountain Dew. Cool. And uh a Mountain yeah, Dew. Yeah. And we would have those like a Mountain Dew? Yeah, I would have Mountain Dew. That's the we, least. I'm have you kidding. listened to anything this guy said? I'm not I kidding. We problems. did not drink water at all. That was like, a lot of the 90s. Though. That was, yeah. yeah, that's, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so it's not I remember me. being like, people drinking water. I'm yeah. like, this uh, blew my, my cousin, doing? My cousins, it was only water at dinner. Yeah. No one, uh, dude, it was brutal. Crazy. I didn't start drinking water until like four years ago. Yeah, like, no, I'm the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, okay. I was like, I, who would do that? And then seltzers kind of like was my gateway drug to- Seltzers, all right. But I've never- Met or known or seen any kid Mm -hmm. in the entire time that I went to school, yeah, or have ever even heard of any child getting a Mountain Dew. Really? No. Yeah, we would have cans of Mountain Dew. So can of Coke, maybe. Yeah, cans of Mountain Dew. And I remember there was a big point in our. I, I bet this happened when you guys were kids too. Where they came out with, like, if you drink Mountain Dew, it makes your penis small. Yellow five and yellow six. There it is. So What? I, I didn't know that. That's <laughs> how no, they got me. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's start a class action lawsuit. So that's what happened. Because I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, I, the, the, the myth or whatever I heard was it lowered your sperm count. Yellow sure. five and yellow six. I remember being, like, a fucking eight-year-old. Yeah, like, like, oh, I got to lay off this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I hit puberty for another 12 years. <laughs> Just 22. I was so embarrassed by it because I th- heard that. They said it made your penis smaller in my school. And so I would have in a my paper school. towel. That's like the, the principal comes over the <laughs> air. Uh, today's Tuesday, October 12th. And stay away from Mountain Dew. You get a little pee-pee. <laughs> Isn't it funny how shit traveled like that when you yeah, were Because we didn't course. have the internet when I was like Of course. It's word of mouth. But somehow it traveled like all throughout the country. Oh, yeah. That Mountain Dew makes your, like, does shit to your dick. Mm-hmm. And I was covering it with a paper towel when I would drink it just because I didn't want people to be like, hey. Hey, look God. at old Tommy Small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, have you ever worn Axe body spray? Absolutely. The commercials got you. fully got they, me. They, they came they in heavy. fully got they me. They came correct with the, I remember with the marketing. I was like, I got to have this. And like, it was kind of embarrassing to ask your mom to like buy sure. it. Because you're like, hey, I'm trying to get I'm some trying, tail. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to get laid over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I covered myself in it. And uh, of course, it was disgusting and nobody liked it. That but, underlying uh, baby powder yeah. scent to it. Yep. Oof. Yeah. But I was like, this is going to change my whole life. I put a lot of stock in, in acts. <laughs> in acts, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, I was no. like, this is going to change my whole shit up. Mm-hmm. I put it on like a thinking. I remember because I got contacts at the same time. Because at the time I was wearing glasses, I was like, I'm wearing contacts. I got Axe body spray. I'm about to hit different. And <laughs> <laughs> people are going to see that I'm built different now. Yeah. And hey, they're going to love it. The that. underdog's on top. <laughs> <laughs> I put it on one time. I was I was at my house. My sister had her friends over. I was probably I was six whenever that came yeah, out. Yeah. Early high school maybe, yeah, and like they were like twenty one or, or whatever. And I like walked down with it on, not to impress them. I was like going to the movies or something, yeah. the mall. And I walked by, they're like, "What is that smell?" And I'm like, "Oh god!" I ran and hopped in the fucking shower real quick. <laughs> and it doesn't fucking, take it off. Either. Yeah. Oh no. You gotta get power get washed. Yeah. Yeah. How do you take your steak? Uh, I I like to medium. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it medium rare personally. Right, a, nice. I like I like to see it, uh, you know, mm-hmm. dancing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you ever have caviar plate. before? Oh, I love caviar. Really? But I had it for the first time at a buffet because I would never think to order. This is my mom and I went to Vegas with my my sister. My sister loves Vegas. I've like I have my don't I've mixed feelings about it. <laughs> uh, but we went and my mom's whole thing was like we're going to this buffet at Bally's Casino or whatever. And we were all like whatever. It's like a hundred bucks to do it. But that's the thing my mom was looking forward to the whole time, and she was fucking right. Like they had caviar and like lobster tails and shit, and it was so good. I think really? it cancels out if you have it at a buffet. Yeah. Yes, it's it, true. It's not was like it, I like. Was I, it yeah. like beluga? Like it was like real caviar? I have no idea. It wasn't like the, <laughs> the little orange eggs they put on sushi. No, 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 no. This was they were black. Tom was uh, eating bait. <laughs> <laughs> he got a bag full of power bait. <laughs> I did get a hook in my mouth at one point. <laughs> Tom was eating bait. <laughs> okay, I'm just I'm just gonna put this out here now. 
you are officially invited to the Are You Garbage Tournament of Champions, which oh, isn't even yeah. a thing we've yeah, ever well, talked about. But you're gonna, you're in <laughs> it. Yeah, you're fucking. If in we it. ever do a head to head, we haven't even gotten match. into modern trash. I no. Oh, we're gonna. Ha- we're, I mean, you're for sure coming back for a part. One hundred percent. I mean. I did shit. I got. I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna. I gotta go back to the drawing board and come up with better <laughs> questions than you know. Have you had poison ivy as an adult? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask if you ever called anybody mate. <laughs> Man, talk yeah. about showing up unprepared. Yeah. Holy, <laughs> Holy shit! Holy Getting shit! Getting your pants oh. down. <laughs> What now I know fuck? how the generals feel when they play the Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's bouncing balls off my head. <laughs> Honestly, I, 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 you legit flustered, and I was on my heels. Right away. <laughs> right away. I literally, uh, he brought that in. I'm like, oh, he's trying to be guard. Like, he, I no, thought he brought no, the beer no. in to be like, oh, I'm going to try to this ham is my, it up. Because I had no idea you had any of this background. If I'm doing a podcast, I'm going to have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not what a fucking doing? asshole. What are we doing here? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. That's what I blame the street uh, joke on, that that didn't work. It was my <laughs> frazzleness, just for the record. And the 1989 joke didn't come out right either. And, just, and yeah. the, what, what, what excuse do you have for this screeching hole? <laughs> <laughs> Callbacks that we had yeah. thankfully forgotten. <laughs> I blame too much Mountain Dew on all this. <laughs> uh, ever worn a lifeguard sweatshirt? Oh, oh man, no! You were really no, unprepared. No. Sweatshirt, <laughs> sweatshirt. No, no, we didn't have sweatshirts. Um, <laughs> I got one now. What? What? You go home. You got a couple of coin. You know, you got a quarter, a nickel, and a dime uh-huh. in your pocket. What kind of container do, does that go into? That is going. So right now, what's your current change jar? Right now, because I did, I did the podcast. Doug loves movies, and mm-hmm. I stole one of the prizes. Because it was a, uh, because you have to bring prizes when you do that show. Somebody had a Pikachu like coffee mug, mm-hmm. and so I was like, "That's gonna be my new change jar." But you, you there, you were like, "That's gonna be my that's new change." That's mine. Yeah, you stole I, it for that purpose. I was like, maybe I'll try to drink coffee out of it, and then I tried once, and it was not built for that, and so I was like, "Nah, I'm just gonna it's change jar." Change, but I have also next to that because you got a lot of change. I don't mean to brag. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I don't want to brag. <laughs> I, don't mean I got to about brag. thirty-two bucks, but yeah, there's but, some quarters in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not, some of those are. Uh, yes. Some of them are European. I can't use them. <laughs> yeah, I got a button. Uh, in case, I love it. I, I have shit like that. I have like European. I've never been to Europe. I have like Canadian. <laughs> I, have, I have Canadian like nickels and shit in my thing. And I'm like, I better save that in case I go back to Canada. Yeah. Like, when am I going to dig through that and like I've, take I've, it with me? I've been in a financial position not too long ago where I've had like $40 in euros or something. Uh-huh. And like went to the bank and been like, I want to change this. It's like, we don't do that here. <laughs> and if we do, we're going to charge you like $25 transaction yeah, fee. Yeah. So like, you got to go to the airport. And I You're for just, sure The airport? You're not bringing that to the airport. They'll arrest you, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. What's this commie bullshit? <laughs> when, you cha- when you get your change, we put it in, will you use a coin star or will you not use it because of the fee? Uh, yeah. I I always dreamt of using a coin star. It's never a th- presence of mind thing. It looks so fun. But so I've, how do you use up? Do you roll your quarters? No, okay. it just sits there. Okay, I, I never do shit collect with my an interest. Quarters. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gain in value. Yeah. It's a <laughs> working for it's me. Tell you that right now. <laughs> I never think I, in my head. I'm like, well, I need a quarter to go to the whatever. It's uh, sure, but it just sits there. I I never think to do anything with it. It's been yeah. We have a change jar. We haven't touched in two years. Of living in the same apartment. I got about eighty bucks in like a in a one of the big like kind of like your water bottle you have yeah. with the top cut off and like that. I that's in my net worth when I do the math. Yeah, I got yeah. one of those folded like there. Mm-hmm. Cut the top off. How'd you cut it off? Knife. Steak knife. <laughs> Probably. Knife. I don't ball. have a steak knife. I know it was like a, the sharpest knife I have. I guess. Uh, and that goes into my net worth when I calculate what I have. You're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm like, oh, I got $1,000 in my bank account, I go, I got 1080 bucks in my bank account. <laughs> That's yeah. the grease yeah. up top. Yeah. Yep. Um, before we get into now, I just wanted to ask you, did, did you or your family, have you guys, did you guys ever stand around and watch like a house fire, like watch the fire department <laughs> put it that, out? I would have. Or watch an accident or anything like that as a family. Have you ever chased an ambulance to see where he's Never going? Never chased an ambulance. Uh, I've done that personally. I've just watched like the fire department show up in Brooklyn. But in, in our, where we lived, we were so separated, like, because we had like two acres or whatever, and then that's not bad. It's not, it's not bad. bad. Uh, Good. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but uh, you know, we just had the direct neighbors right next to us, and so, and then across the street was just farmland. Like we, like when if you like if you walked out my front door, 
we have woods behind us and then across the street it's just like empty it's cows you know so and a man with a handgun of course yeah. and, then, and, then, and then my stepdad with a handgun <laughs> yeah you're gonna see that you're, you're gonna take a left at the man with a handgun <laughs> he's gonna be yelling at you <laughs> he fires once every 20 minutes just to feel some adrenaline but uh you're probably gonna miss that have you been in the house and just heard like a, a shot go off uh yes yes Ooh. uh i have um because he would try to scare us into thinking he killed himself Anyway, it doesn't. Oh, I don't want to go any further. Who needs like, Dallas when you got that guy? Anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about uh, Nick at night. Yeah, but um, <laughs> shit, <what> was <laughs> no. But to you saying that about Brooklyn, because the yeah. reason I thought of that question is because last night uh, there was a, a manhole was on fire right in front of the Seven Eleven near our grocery store. We were walking to the grocery store, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden, there's a little fire going on. Fire trucks pull up about five minutes in. The entire neighborhood's out there. Damn. They got water ice going yeah. around. People are drinking. <laughs> and we're all standing there like a village of dirt bags oh, just man. watching the firemen. I love that. Oh, I watch dude. That. It's, I'd watch that. It's I'd like a real New York moment. You yeah. know what I mean? The whole neighborhood's out there. Yeah. Kids are running around, balloons and everything. <laughs> Fantastic time. <laughs> got to take what you can get. Got to take what you can here. get. Mm. Have you ever put ketchup on mac and cheese? We were talking yes. about this before the show. Yes, I have. And I'm going to tell you, I stand by it. It's 100%. good. Ooh. It's good. It's great. It's really good. It's great. Also, I'm going to say this. Mac and cheese kind of sucks. It's overrated. I don't, it's, I don't That's why I put ketchup disagree. in it. I put ketchup in it because it's like I need something and a little, besides a little tang that. to it. You got to yeah. get Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. I just lost all the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe have some, some hot sauce. I just don't. It depends on the mac and cheese, but it's like, oh man, this is the trashiest thing I've done recently. What kind of brand was it when you were growing up? Uh, if we were lucky, we would have some craft, but we weren't a mac and cheese family. Okay. We were like, uh, we would buy frozen corn dogs and like that. I learned to cook, cook. I learned to bake uh, like pizzas and hot dogs and shit when I was, or like corn dogs when I was a kid because my mom would work at night. So I had to feed all, and my stepdad was a drunk. So I fed everybody by just. I thought that I was like a chef. I was just throwing corn dogs on a sheet pan, and then that was that was a lot of what we would eat. If my mom was home, we would have like you know uh, chicken or whatever. But like, yeah, we didn't have a lot of that. We had ramen noodle soup a lot. Um, yeah, we weren't a big mac and cheese. Not thing. a shitload of home cooked meals. We do, when she was home, we would do it. But uh, she was hustling. She was it was a lot of was it was a lot of fast food. I I was I was like when Wendy's introduced the five for five and they had the junior bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> that was huge. Like that was Jesus. a lot of my meals were just like having four junior bacon cheeseburgers and then some chicken nuggets. How would you get there? Walk? Could you walk? Or no, you that was drive? like if she was on the way home, she would she'd stop pick and it up. Yeah. yeah, she would stop and grab. Yeah, them. you couldn't walk anywhere. Like oh, yeah, where the I woods. Lived. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it was. It would take you. Of like half a day to walk to anything where I lived, like even the gas station was probably would have been like a forty minute walk. Jesus. Hmm. <sighs> have you seen the sequel to Boondock Saints? <laughs> <I have not. laughs> that is that is good. That is no. I have not. I have not. Oh, real fast. I forgot. Uh, this is. I think this this might be the trashiest form of food ever. And I just bought it two days ago, and my fiance is pissed because she saw it in the cabinet. They make flaming hot mac and cheese. Now. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. I've yeah. seen that going around. I bought around. some because I love anything flaming hot. They will they will sucker me on, and that I think is super trashy. Trashy people love flaming hot because yes, it do. covers the flavor of all the shit bad shit there. Sure, eating. yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, need yeah. hot sauce on everything because your food is bad. Mm-hmm. You know. Do you still drink Mountain Dew? No. Okay. Actually, I take that back. I went to Taco Bell the other day, and I'll drink the uh, the, Baja the Diet Blast. Baja Blast. Yeah, you got to treat yeah. yourself. You exactly. Know? It went in Rome. What do what you do? Well, why is that? That uh, how come only Taco Bell? They've really they made it. They the had to have Dew made market. a deal. Yeah. Because I would love to go to McDonald's and get a fucking Mountain Dew. Like well, it's I not know. a Coca Cola product, is it? Uh, no, it's not. It's Pepsi, right? Yeah. Who? So they're probably yeah, Pepsi. They're yeah, probably the only main brand. The only main. Food chain that carries Pepsi products. Right. Oh, really? Everybody else. Coke probably has. That's crazy. Coke has Burger yeah. King. Coke has McDonald's. Coke has everywhere. That's mm-hmm. bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Spread the good love. Good for them, though. Yeah, good for them. Also, there's probably a very big, like if it was a Venn diagram of Mountain Dew drinkers and fucking Taco Bell people. Sure. Mm-hmm. And that, there's, that's a, there's a they big overlap. They do go together. Yeah. They do line, go together. That lines yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that makes together. sense. And I, I love Taco Bell, man. Oh. I still go. It's right next to my gym, and so often I'll leave the gym and go to Taco Bell. <laughs> 
What's your, what's your favorite item at Taco Bell? My, uh, I mean, I love the chalupa. It's it's so good, but I don't get that. Huge I love, chalupa The flaming fan. hot, uh, or when they had it, they had a flaming hot uh, Dorito, um, like shell taco. Yeah. They, but now they just have the regular, or maybe it was spicy nacho. Now they just have the regular Doritos Locos. I love that. And the quesadilla is, you can't miss. You really can't fuck up. Dude, I fuck- <laughs> it's all hits. Dude, dude. I fucking love him. I, I, I honestly do, man. I love you. <laughs> I want to give you a hug. He, I mean, we talked about his family. He just got that was the most passionate I've seen him in the past hour and twelve minutes or whatever we're at. He really was like, "This, I'm going to pay dude, my masterpiece uh, here." I food. My fiance makes fun of me all the time, but it's like I obsess over food. In fact, coming here today, I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm going to go to Chipotle after this." And I was like yeah. so excited. Or Dos Toros they have here too. But uh, uh, the Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich as a kid was like that was like my form of happiness. And now the Popeyes uh, spicy chicken is like, God damn it! I think about it all the time, dude. I'm right there. With Even you, just brother. saying it now, I got happy. <laughs> yeah, it fixes all the bad uh, stuff. It really, it, uh, <laughs> it really does. It really does. And that like, Popeye's chicken sandwich, dude, is fucking. It's crazy that yeah. anybody is even trying anymore yeah. to be like, oh, shut this it down. Good. I do want to try that Burger King one, but because the pictures look. Who needs a dad when you got chicken sandwich? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, forget about all that gun pointing yeah. the gun at you. Here's some. Here's a spicy chicken sandwich. Well, it sounds like you got some sweat. projects you're working on. <laughs> 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 the way you said they were like, I do want to try that Burger King. Right <laughs> yeah, like yeah. if I can get my if I can get my act together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Get a couple, yeah. If I get on the straight and narrow for a couple of weeks. Get the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I could just get my hands on one of those. Okay, okay, Kippy, I got a guessing game for you because I know you love them. Sure. In the year 2015, when Baja Blast was introduced, mm-hmm. how much did it generate in sales for Taco Bell? In a year. In one year. One calendar year. Five million dollars. Hold on. Let's I mean let's, Wait, let's hold reverse on. engineer. That's this. when it was introduced? Uh, I could swear Baja Blast had been around for like Oh, sorry, years. No, this 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 might be its most banner year. This might be the okay, most the okay. most unique. Okay. I think Baja Blast has been around You for think a you're minute. gonna get that bullshit past Come fucking on, the car? Darby, yeah. What the fuck? You kidding man? me? <laughs> he was there cutting the ribbon with the big scissors <laughs> the day they popped that thing open. That he probably <laughs> stole on the way home. <laughs> This is good rib. I'm going to take this ribbon. <laughs> Wait, because I was at a wedding in 2009 at a Taco Bell, <laughs> and I could have swore that they had Baja Blast. All right. Foley says $5 million. Kippy? $5 million. Oh, it's, uh, it's probably fucking $500 million. $500 million? I'm going to say, oh, I might split it's probably the probably $500 here. million. Dollars, $500 million? No. I'm going to say. How uh, many think Baja? Hold on. Let's reverse engineer Just this. Baja Blast. And how much does that cost <laughs> to make? Are we counting? Is it? Is it? Uh, Not profit. It's, yeah. it's sales. It's Gross sales. sales. This is just sales. This is uh, in 2015. PetSico reported that Blaha Blast brought in blank 50, oh, in okay. sales for Taco Bell since it was introduced. I'm gonna. Oh, since it, it was introduced. Oh, oh no. Introduced. Okay. I apologize. So this is up oh, to 2015. Hold on. And it's also the sales gen. Okay. Oh, that changes everything. Yeah. So I this apologize. Is, up to 2015. So this is a report from 2015. Since introduced, I'm going to say it was maybe introduced in like 2006 or something. I, I think I was in high school when they had it because I, I worked. My Kroger was next to one and after work. My I would Kroger. The Kroger I worked at. I'm pretty sure I would <laughs> go get it. Sounds like he was blast. on the board. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say 200 mil then. 500 mil. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm sorry. I'd like to change my answer. $350 million. Do we go way too high? Way too low. They brought in a Billy, son. Oh Holy God, shit. They're rocking a Billy? Damn. That's what happens when you make a fantastic product at a reasonable price. <laughs> hey. Tell you that right now. Get on the Patreon, people. Because, <laughs> hey, they're not paying us, all right? Let's not forget. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. The fountain operation we're a better at Taco help Bell. <laughs> whoa, whoa. We're a better help family today. If I can read the schedule correctly. <laughs> the fountain system at Taco Bell is the elite one. Yes. The I ice agree. is perfect. The carbonation is always it's perfect. It's the only place that I do that because McDonald's, I everybody, I do like a Diet Coke from McDonald's, but they fuck up a lot, too. They fu- McDonald's fucks up more than anybody. We're in for it now. <laughs> they fu- I go to McDonald's. So there's a McDonald's next to my gym, too, and I get, I try to get black. I drink Where's black- your gym? The mall food court? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> His gym's actually a walk and roll. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I've been working out at an Annie Ann's. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my gym is the Delta Terminal. <laughs> <What> the <laughs> <JFK. fuck? laughs> Man, uh, this kid. I had no idea. 
They so I try to get I like uh, my I, I like iced coffee. I like it black. I don't I don't like to I waste my calories on booze if I'm gonna drink it. So I don't like to have calories in my in my stuff I drink. And so I like iced coffee black. And I like McDonald's coffee every fucking time I go to order at McDonald's. And I try I'm not rude. I just try to be nice. I'm like hey. I want iced coffee. Can I just have it black? Nothing in they it. They don't get that. There's a full conversation every time. They're like, so uh, cream and sugar. I'm like, no, black. I just want it black. And yeah. there's like, so no flavor. You want vanilla? They say no what? flavor. You want yeah. the squirts? No yeah, squirts, yeah, yeah, nothing, yeah, yeah. just the coffee and the ice. And they're well, like, are you okay. going to McDonald's just for coffee? Yes. Oh, that's trash. Yeah, I know. That is I know. bad. <laughs> you live in New York City, dude. Wow. What are we it's doing? It's cheap. It's so cheap. Oh, my God. It's like two God. bucks for a giant one, and it's uh, it's convenient, except... Every time we'll have that whole back and forth, and I'm like, all right, they're definitely gonna get it this time. Still give you amaretto they, flavor. It's just, yep, yeah. yep. It's just pure white. Yeah. The, the thing they hand me, and I'm like, no, yeah, I don't they want don't get black it. coffee. And they're always like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Why would you do this? No flavor. They start to do it again. Like they start. Going, well, obviously you want a little sugar. Yeah. And I'm like, no, nothing. Yeah, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> that, Crazy. Yeah. Okay. They act like I'm gonna be like pissed. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, okay, sir, I'll get you your I black. said black. Where's the whipped cream? <laughs> well, this You're is why, because they've been beaten down yes. so much yeah. by fucking people being scumbags with two things, ice uh-huh. and fucking those kind of things. I know, and I tr- you that's why to, I feel bad. I try you, not to be yeah, an asshole you, about it. You have but. to beg for ice yeah. at, like, at any fast food place because yep. so many people are like, not too much ice because yep. they think they're getting more, Yes, which is yes. the most that garbage yeah. reasoning yep. mm-hmm. in the world. Yeah. Yep. Extra ice. <laughs> God damn, I'm getting fired up. Get me a truly. What the fuck? <laughs> Get him a truly. Come on. Said that like Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> truly. He likes truly. That was pretty good. Dude, this I, think, is, yeah, I fell into that. Not that. Bad. I'm, not, really? I'm not known for my impressions. <laughs> this is how outmatched I am for this. Oh, dude, I'm done. You ready? <laughs> my next question was. Do you like Orangina? <laughs> oh, He's never, man. I, mean, I had that once. I took <laughs> yeah, in high school. It was my graduation. In, in <laughs> oh, high, my God. I school, had that once. In high school, in a French class, there was like a day. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a cultural uh, fucking yeah. immersion yeah. class. He was they, in. Had, they had pate, and they had Orangina. And I, I had French like, fries. It's, pate. It's, made, yeah. it's an American drink. It's not <laughs> French. <laughs> Right. It was presented to me as this is what French people drink. <laughs> the pate was just hamburger helper. <laughs> yeah, it was a beef pate. <laughs> Stole that joke from someone. Oh, um, my God. Tom, man, Woof. this is legendary. Yeah, uh, this is. Not, I mean, we for sure have to bring you back specifically because there's so many. We have so many fucking insane questions that we have to get to from our Patreon. Like, when people sign up for Patreon, we answer oh, the questions. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I we have listening. so many insane yeah. ones that we can't get to with certain know, guests because yeah. I'm like, but you're, I mean, he should I come in, it, like, yeah. once every, like, six weeks and just clean up <laughs> all the insane questions we have to get through. <laughs> there, Where I'm like, I can't ask dude. Andrew Schultz if, like, his stepdad ever shot a guy. <laughs> dude, <laughs> listening to, uh, to uh, the one with Cannon, I was like, God damn it, there's so many that I was like, ah, yeah. like the Craigslist thing. I spent so much time on Craigslist. <laughs> but that's for another day. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> <not. laughs> I, I, I used to, like, scour. I used to, I thought it was funny when I was in uh, college to post fake Craigslist ads as a man, as a woman for men, because I was like, I would just read insane ones. So I would post like looking for somebody to uh, fuck me on my dad's grave or whatever, Jesus and to see if guys Christ. would still respond. And then they did. Yeah, of course. It's crazy. You they ever get like, any yeah. dick pics? Oh, a million. Yeah, yeah, a million. I've seen every shape and size. <laughs> this kid's a real cool cat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, weird <laughs> flicks. <laughs> I wonder why fucking high school was hard on the kid. <laughs> um, all right, I got to call. I mean, I, you know, run through a couple of Patreon. Yeah. We got we to gotta wrap. This one's just a funny question. This is from Brendan. Have you, has a family member ever offered you a seasonal beer in the wrong season? <laughs> <laughs> That's a home What the fuck? And I will tell you, nobody's done that to me. I've done that to yeah. other people. Because when I lived in Chicago, there was a Target by me that had a Brooklyn pumpkin ale for $2 a six-pack. <laughs> so I bought the whole fucking thing. I had like 26 packs of Brooklyn, uh, of Brooklyn pumpkin, and it's... 
summer. Like it's not a good. <laughs> yeah. It's old. It was terrible. It's Can't that be drinking old. pumkin beers on July Fourth, dude. <laughs> Do you know, dude, you know Tim tough. McLaughlin, right? Oh, he's the homie. Yeah. yeah so we, we lived together, and we would we had the dirt baggest ass fucking place. We had, after I left, everybody got bed bugs and shit. Like it was dirty in there. Is that the one where our curry was in the basement? No, that's in that, that was in New York. Uh, this was in Chicago. Uh, in Chicago, we did this. We had our fridge full of it, and it was one of those end of the night. We didn't have any other beer. We would all just start tr- chugging those and hated every fucking sip. But it was like a staple of our apartment for a while. Where people would come over and be like, "God damn it!" Like, I guess we're drinking the fucking pumpkin beer because it's three in the morning. You can't buy beer anywhere. Oh, that fucking stinks. But dude. Tim would always just do, so angrily be like. <laughs> like just watching him begrudgingly drink a pumpkin ale is like that's what Chicago is, still is to me. It's just a dirtbag town. Oh, I've had <laughs> I've had a lot of like July October fests from the previous year. Yep. Yeah, sure. yep. I mean we got yep. Christmas Budweisers in the mini fridge right here. Yep, but yep. pumpkin ale. Pumpkin is a specific. I'll never drink it again because yeah. of that. No. It fucked it up for me. It's skunked pumpkin ale. Oh, I like it. You have very infomercial studio audience energy when you talk about prices. Yeah. Two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> That's my childhood, yeah. brother. It was two dollars. <laughs> <sighs> huh. All right. Uh, this one's from Doo 69 I don't know if that's his government <laughs> like name. Uh, oh, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a senior yearbook quote? If so, what was it? No, uh, my God. That's, that's a home run. That's, that's a great a good question. one. I don't think I did. We didn't have I, think, I didn't even get my senior yearbook. That was one of those <laughs> things where my family was like, you'll remember it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> try really hard. <laughs> Holy shit. I remember mine. Mine was a Jethro Tull lyric. Ooh. Spin me back down the years in the days of my youth. I will, if I had you one. You think you're so deep. <laughs> <laughs> but especially as a high school kid, everybody does. Yeah. If I had one, it was probably like a fucking like Tupac lyric or something that I was like, <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. People are going to think this is really cool. In the future. I had a Tupac jersey that I would wear at school, and I thought people would think it was cool. And like, oh, man, I know that exact did thing. Not. Yeah. yeah, that's a bad look. Yeah, it was bad. Man. It was bad. Um. All right, and then this one's from Tony P. Is it garbage to write your initials in wet concrete in front of your own house? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did it when we got our pool. We did uh like our hands and like the date and stuff like that. Uh, that's on your property though. That's a yeah. little bit different. If you're doing it on right. the sidewalk, yeah, that's sidewalk, sidewalk out front. Yeah, I I would say yes. Yeah. It's, oh, it's trash because it, it's sure. one of those like I need to be immortalized in yeah. in concrete. Did you ever? Uh, you ever carve your initials into the into a tree with your no. high school sweetheart or anything? I didn't have a high school sweetheart. Uh, I would have loved to. Trust me, brother. No, I, dre- I dreamt no of doing that. No takers on Craigslist. <laughs> 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 I dreamt of doing that, but I uh, yeah never did that. <laughs> Tom never and Mountain that. Dew forever. <laughs> <laughs> Tom and Baja Blast. Tom and two dollar beers. <laughs> <laughs> Tom loves pumpkins. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm I'm fucking gassed. We got to have you back for a part yeah, two. Yeah, man, future. I would love to come back. I'm There's blown so away. Much we got to get to. I'm blown away. This was an absolutely so fantastic fun, episode. Uh, unbelievable. But try. I mean, he's. Trying, uh, oh, okay, okay. I mean, Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, for the record, we got to get it on tape. I mean, you're the garbage. I think this is the most like deep flavored garbage <laughs> ever. Yeah, it's this wild. Is unbelievable. It was the, the, the most insane thing. I felt like punch drunk at the end of it. It hits you in the face. Well, every question you ask, he introduces someone else, another setting, <laughs> that then leads yeah. to another it thing. Did, it, it was like a fucking Christopher Nolan movie. It's just, <laughs> I feel like I was watching Garbage Tenant or something like that. Half of it was going backwards. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Yeah, what, thank uh, you so much. What do you got the folks out there to know you got Plug coming away, up? Anything? Anything. Uh, first, thanks so much for having me, boy. I love man. you guys' pod. It's thank fucking you. hilarious, and I'm happy to be a part of it. It was so fun. But, uh, yeah, I got uh, – follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting a bunch of clips and stuff. Uh, it's Tom Takar. It's T-H-A-K-K-A-R. And, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of clips coming out. My podcast is called Stand By Your Band. I do it with Tommy McNamara. We got to have you boys on. For sure, uh, man. Would love you to. defend music that uh, people make fun of you for liking. It's like a lot of like trashy shit. Okay. Yeah, of course. Like, uh, you know, Creed or Nickelback or shit. Uh, and it's it's super fun. And then, uh, yeah, find if you can find my fucking half hour special on Comedy Central, please watch it. Because if I try to post clips from it, they fucking stomp they, it down. Really? Yeah. And I also have a podcast with them that's over now, but it's called Stand Up with uh, Tom Takar. That's, I mean, the episodes are still up, so it's cool. And then, yeah, just social media shit. Tom Takar. 
Awesome. We love you, buddy. Absolutely super funny, super love fantastic. You boys. Thanks, man. And this was something else. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, as always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Uh, Patreon.com. You can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. Uh, you get episodes of Hard Feelings, which is me and Foley mixing it up. And we do a live stream every month with our top tier patrons. And then live shows, guys. We're fucking Boston's almost sold the fuck out. Rhode Island's fucking cooking. We have probably like, what, seven or eight more dates for cities we're announcing. Get ready. It's going to be a fucking good time. Yeah. I'm going to go home, take a shower, and call my parents. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Tell them how much I love them. Mm -hmm. Guys, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.